Hi, it's Anika and welcome to part three of Think Before You Eat. So in part one, I spoke about just thinking and asking yourself, am I hungry or am I looking to be distracted? Number two, I spoke about like just positive things that you can do to help de-stress. And today I want to talk about this video because it's the same day. Obviously you figured it out because I have the same outfit on. Nevertheless, all right. So the third thing that I want to talk about is just understanding your why and having a conversation with yourself on why are you doing this? Why are you on this specific health journey? And why is it not a good idea for you to end up overeating? This sounds so silly and I know that, you know, knowing your why is, is a term that's almost overplayed now, but I think that it's so impactful to really stop when you're on the verge of like overeating or perhaps indulging in something that you know you shouldn't to remind yourself of your goal. Like I've shared, I'm doing this to heal my leaky gut, fill, you know, fix my autoimmune issues and eventually hopefully, prayerfully, it'll have an impact on even my hair growing. So I, after I've eaten and I'm full, and if something is, you know, bothering me or I'm feeling overwhelmed by something and I have the temptation to go and eat what I shouldn't or eat more than I should, I have to stop and remind myself like, no, Anika, you have an end goal goal here. And I want to say that I don't do this perfectly because I do sometimes have my moments where I'm like, I don't care about my why. <laughs> you know, I'm just in my feelings right now, whatever. So I, you know, as I'm sharing these things with you, I sometimes don't do these things perfectly, but the more I do it, the more I am just so grateful for just the results, right? So stop and ask yourself, and I'm just gonna just throw it out there. Do you even know your why? Whatever health journey you're on, do you know why you have certain restrictions in place? Or is it just, oh, I saw a YouTube video and I thought that this would be a good idea. Like do you have like a deep intrinsic reason as to why you're following this or is it just a trend for you? So it's good to stop and have those conversations with yourself and to remind yourself of your whys. And I even know for me, like I love um, research. It's funny when I was in school, I didn't like research. And now that I'm not in school, I enjoy it interesting so i sometimes when i'm having those you know low moments and feel it like giving into temptations i'll go and i'll look up different videos on the carnivore diet and just to understand like the scientific parts of it and why it works for your body and why it's the best thing um that you can that i could do for my body you know in this season for whatever end goal I have in mind. And sometimes just watching those videos and hearing these lectures, it's kind of like, it, it helps me to get my head back in the game. Like, hold on, hold on. You're not trying to get distracted here. You have an end goal in mind. So understand your why. So that ends today's um, video. Leave a comment below and tell me whatever health journey you are on. Leave a comment below and tell me what's your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? All right, you be blessed and I will see you on part four, which I believe will be the final part of this mini series of Think Before You Eat. You be blessed.